Welcome to Jerry's Engineering Corner. Today, we will demonstrate the potentially harmful effects of not properly handling an expanded PTFE membrane. What we will demonstrate are two identical fittings, one with an expanded PTFE membrane, the other with a Vertec Corex's sintered PTFE membrane. For those of you who don't know, expanded PTFE is made by sequentially stretching a PTFE film. Under a microscope, it will look something like this. Vertec PTFE is manufactured much differently. With Vertec, well-defined particles of PTFE are fused together in a process called sintering. In the sintering process, each particle is fused to its neighbor. The microscopic gaps between each of the particles creates the pore structure. Under a microscope, it will look more like this. Sintered PTFE is very robust and does not damage easily. Unlike expanded PTFE, which can easily be damaged by handling. In this experiment, you will see a plastic fitting with an attached PTFE vent hooked up to an airflow meter. First, we will begin with expanded PTFE. Air is passed through the vent at a constant back pressure of about 10 millibars. Then the airflow rate through the PTFE is recorded by the meter. So, let's begin. As you can see from the display, the EPTFE has an initial airflow rate of over 25 liters per hour, which is indeed impressive. Next, we will rub the membrane, not too dissimilar to what happens when an adhesive disc is adhered onto an enclosure, as you may have seen in one of my prior videos. After running the test again, the airflow rate has dropped dramatically to 2.6 liters per hour, a tenfold drop in airflow. We will do an additional rub of the membrane and retest. Now the vent is only passing 1.7 liters per hour. This result should be concerning, especially if the airflow rate is a key performance specification. In the next experiment with Vertex Centered PTFE, we will get the initial airflow rate reading as we did before. As can be seen from the readout, initial airflow rate is lower at about 10 liters per hour. This is not uncommon as a denser, more robust Vertex membrane or we'll shift airflow slightly more than an expanded PTFE. Next, we will rub the Vertec PTFE vigorously, even harder than was done in the prior experiment. As can be seen from the meter readout, the airflow rate has not changed, still over 10 liters per hour. We will now do a second, even more vigorous rubbing, and as you will see, the result is once again the same. Absolutely no change in the product airflow rate. As an engineer, this is a predictable result I can stand behind. So here is the question. As a designer or engineer, how can you trust that the person who is applying your protection vent is not physically touching the active portion of the vent? How is someone supposed to rub only the outside of the vent without physically touching the center and apply it properly? Is the risk worth it? Does the thought concern you that the protection vent that you have specified into your product can potentially have the airflow change by 10 times just by simply handling it. What safety level factor must be built into your product if this potentially can happen to your protection vent? Of course, the simple answer is to use Vertec Sintered PTFE by Porex, where even under the most difficult situations, properties don't change. So I ask this final question. What do you trust more to maintain airflow? Vertex centered PTFE or expanded PTFE. So that's it for today. See you next time in the lab with me, Jerry with a G.